Hey Tubers, it's Melissa. I wanted to do a review demo on a foundation and this time it's more of a high-end one. If I look a, bit, a little bit more exhausted than usual, I did a 12-hour shift this morning. Um, I had to be up at 1 a.m. to be at work at 3 a.m. so I look a little bit more exhausted than usual. But um, back to the foundation, it's the Makeup Forever Matte Velvet Plus and this is what the bottle and looks like. It just comes in this sleek little bottle. I think this is, yeah, it's one um, fluid ounce and it says it's made in France. And the shade, oops, dropping stuff. Um, the shade I'm in is number 35 and it's really annoying that you pay so much for this foundation and you can only see that it's the last two digits right here. Um, so I'm the shade 35 on the website. The name is Vanilla and I think that this suits my skin tone really, really well. It has yellow and um, neutral undertones mixed so that's a really nice combination. Um, this is $34 and it comes with kind of a squeeze pump like this. You just squeeze it. I just squeeze it directly onto the brush. Um, I really like this foundation. It gives, like the name says, a matte finish. I really like the way it just settles on my face. This is really good for someone with oily skin. As you all know, I um, struggle with oily skin. I think this would, of course, not be at all suitable for anyone who has dry skin. Um, or any kind of dry patches because it will accentuate those um, just because since it's giving you more of a matte finish um, I would think it gives um, a light to a medium coverage it doesn't give really a heavy coverage um, and I like the way it feels I like the way it lasts it lasts all day on my skin it's very long wearing um, it's oil free it says it's water resistant I haven't really um, thrown myself in a pool or anything like that to try to test that out but um, I really like this foundation. I really think it's worth the money. Um, I do wish it was more of a different um, packaging. I wish it had the name on it. I wish that it had a pump. It was kind of in a different format. Um, but other than that, it's it's a very nice foundation. And I think the color range is a lot more, um, more true to natural um, skin tones, you know, it's not exact uh, an exaggerate of yellow or an exaggerate of pink. Um, it's more of uh, a more of a natural looking um, shades that would be more suitable to more skin tones. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna go ahead and do this demo, um, and this is probably gonna be fast forwarded. Um, but like most of my foundation routine, I just go ahead and kind of put some of the product on top of the flat top and then I'm just going to put it on my face start to open. As you can see it gives a nice coverage. Um, I apply a lot more with this foundation just so I can get more of a medium coverage um, but it doesn't feel as um, heavy enough that it won't let your skin show through. Okay, so this is the finish that it gives. As you can see, um, it covers really nicely. It just kind of blends completely into my skin. Um, I can personally just still see like little freckles on my face, so that's why to me it's more of a medium um, um, coverage. I um, don't know if you can see that it's not like flat matte. You can still see more of a satin finish. It's not like a full on flat matte. So I really like this foundation and then once I um, kind of um, set it with powder that makes it look a lot more natural and nice on my skin tone. But I do feel like the color matches perfectly with my skin tone. It just kind of blends seamlessly just because it has the right um, balance of neutral with yellow undertones. So I really like this foundation. I like that it looks really natural on me. I like the way it just completely blends in and um, matches my skin tone really well. Um, I'm not going to finish off and do the whole powder and everything because I'm going to do a tutorial right after this. Um, also if you want to have like tips for trying to pick out the right shade for you or 
things that you can do to kind of help, you can go to my blog. I did a blog post on that, as well as all the foundation shades and colors that match my NC35 skin tone. So that way I have a list of um, those foundations and what kind of undertones each one of them have. So yeah, I hope you guys like this. And if you have any more questions about the foundation or anything like that, just leave them down below. And I have all my websites, Instagram, Twitter, all of that down below as well. And um, thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you guys so much for subscribing and take care.